Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Finally got a chance to get out on this kayak. Um, what I'm gonna do today is go for whatever is around, fluke, sea bass, corgis, maybe uh, catch something to eat tonight or for tomorrow or something. Right now what I'm doing is I'm using the fish finder to find the drop off. So I just launched the kayak from the beach and I'm gonna paddle into the wind right now and I'm looking for when it starts dropping off which is now it's going it was 15 feet for a while now it's starting to go a little deeper I've had these locations previously marked off from other trips before where I've caught and um, anytime you catch fish like fluke and stuff. Um, I'm not talking about the rocky areas right now, I'm just talking about the smooth where there's no uh, rocks, it's just like really, you know, rocky structure. The fluke and the fish are usually going to be where it starts to drop off. There's usually areas where it drops off quicker than other areas. So once you find that area, you want to kind of work with the wind and figure out how you can effectively drift that area that's along that with the wind. So usually it takes one or two drifts to figure out which way the wind's pushing you. And I use the GPS trail marker and I look at the direction of the arrow and it usually tells you which way you're drifting and the speed you're drifting. So it's very useful. Also has the water temperature. Right now it's reading 81 degrees on the top. So it's pretty warm. I don't know how accurate this thermometer is, but um, pretty hot out lately, so I wouldn't be surprised if the water's in the upper 70s now. So stay tuned. I'm gonna get to the location, rig up some a little lure, and then uh, drop it down and see if I can catch any fish. Porgy out here so far. really picking up. Feels like a sea robin. Thank you. 
corgi. Small guy. Something good here. Probably a porgy. Feels like a nice porgy. Eh, it's an okay. You just kind of got hooked weird. So that was about it for the fishing. I actually did catch a fluke and some more other fish during that outing, but I apparently wasn't rolling the camera. Well, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Here I added a little extra clip. Because I always wondered how many pints or how many gulps were in a pint. And at the same time, I needed more gulp juice. So I decided that I would pick up a pint and count the individual 4-inch swimming mullets. So here I am counting the mullets out. And I want to say again, thank you for watching the video. And if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up.
And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can hit that bell notification icon if you want to be notified when I post a new video. And here I'm getting down to the end of the count. And the total amount of swimming mullets inside a pint of gulp are 30. So you save about a dollar or so, but you do end up getting the container and a lot of gulp juice. So this, that's kind of what I needed it for is the juice. So I picked up a pint and it ended up working pretty at, working out pretty well. Again, thank you for watching and have a nice day.